Halle Berry's divorce took eight years to finalize. She has finally reached a child support settlement with her ex-husband Olivier Martinez, although they will share joint legal and physical custody of their son because she was the breadwinner in the marriage. She will pay him $8,000 per month in child support, and she will also pay him 4.3% of any annual income she makes above $2 million. She will also be responsible for paying for their son's private school tuition, extracurricular activities, and health expenses. The reason for Halle Berry and Olivier Martinez's divorce was reportedly due to disagreements over their living situation. Berry had planned to raise her two children in Los Angeles, while Martinez wanted to move to his native France. The split was also cited as being due to irreconcilable differences. According to reports, the couple did have a prenup, however, the details of the prenup are unknown. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7. Let me start at verse 3, and it says, Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Verse 4. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation. And to you sisters out there that are learning, listening, and applying, being obedient to your husband, shalom, shalom. Okay? So now, uh, here on this Saturday, man, you know, just knocking out a few lessons before going out on the highways here a little later. And uh, I stumbled across, a, a, you know, a, a few, uh, few things about Holly Berry. Now, this isn't the article that I had. It was something actually on Instagram, but uh, I pulled up this article. But I played the uh, the uh, video clip in the beginning. As you uh, seen, you know, uh, you know, uh, Holly Berry, man, is uh, she's really known for marrying outside of uh, her her nation, you know, out because uh, she's obviously an Israelite, right? So she, but she's, you know, she likes to marry these. Uh, you know, preferably these um, Edomite men, okay, so-called white men. But, you know, she didn't get got not once but twice, all right? And I believe back in the day she was, I'm not sure if she was married or dating, but, uh, you know, it's been a minute, but I believe it was in the 90s she was actually uh, dating or she could have been married to a baseball player and his name was uh david justice i believe he played for like the atlanta braves or something like that uh you know and he was a jake but i think uh i believe he got caught cheating on her or something I, I don't know something like that uh he was cheating on her and so i think ever since then she just really started dealing with edomites man but um i want to jump into this article and it says, Holly Berry says, ex-husband called her N-word and wants daughter less black. And this was a 2017 article here. You know, and they had some going way back where, you know, they were showing them um, where the guy was saying all kinds of things towards her. But it says, Holly Berry has taken yet another ex-husband to court. On this occasion, it, it is actor uh, Gab Gabrielle Aubrey, if I'm saying his name right, whom she accuses of taking steps to alter their daughter. Uh, Nala's look to make her appear more European and less black. In her testimony, Barry, who is biracial, also revealed that Aubrey uh, uh, called her a, uh, you know, the N-word, N-I-G-G-E-R, all right, which that's, that's common. They These guys will actually marry you, they'll sleep with you, they'll date you, everything. You know, you call you their girlfriend, all that stuff. And they will, uh, and they, sh and, and and that don't mean that they they love they love you, your people, they love you, or even if they did love you, they don't love your nation, and that should worry you, you know. But a lot of he, you know, the scripture says that uh, he deprived the woman of of with that wisdom, okay, and this is why they they lack that wisdom, 
and they're not able to judge, you know, certain um, matters, man, you know, <laughs> and see that, see that you are really sleeping with you, with the enemy, man, you know, and um, the reason why he wants his daughter to look, to look more European is because she's, you know, even though she might take on your complexion or whatever, you know, she's, she's uh, of his nation, you know, because it's, it's about the seed. You are the, uh, you are the, the seed of your father, okay? And when you look up the word seed, it just goes into semen, okay? That's why I started reading Deuteronomy because we are not to give our daughters uh, up to, uh, we're not to, to give our daughters up to these uh, men of these other nations, you know? Because what, what's, what happens is they're gonna produce the uh, seed uh, of, of that man and that man's nation, you know? You you building up their nation by doing that. When you should be uh building uh up the nation uh with with the, the men of your nation, you know? Being fruitful and multiplying. Okay. And um, you know, and he also tells you in Deuteronomy about the men, you know. And I know there's gonna be brothers that will say, Well, you know, we can marry women of the other nations, okay? And and, and that is true. But there's so many scriptures. If that's the case, there are so many scriptures that goes, that gets on um, Jake for dealing with those women. And the, one of the biggest reasons for doing so is because you'll end up taking on their customs and stuff like that. Now, we know that an Israelite man in righteousness, you know, he could get one of those women of the nations and they probably wouldn't even uh, affect him. Now, one of my biggest uh, arguments that I would say was just the fact that, um, you know, with us uh, being in captivity right now in the land of our captivity, and, and yeah, you might get a woman of the other nation, but what's to say that woman, um, especially here in Babylon, that woman, you know, she might not be going out there with you, but she, you know, you might be in one of the bedrooms uh, or, or in your house and you're teaching, doing live le uh, video lessons, and you know she's probably listening. And knowing, you know, that you're saying that, you know, all these other nations ain't going to make it. She's not going to make it. You know, the heathen are not going to make it, you know. So how do you think that's going to make her feel when all hell break loose? You don't think that she might uh, cleave back onto her people and maybe turn you in? You know, when when, there, when there's a bounty on our head, you know, in, the, in those last days, what's to say she won't turn you in? You know, and that's, those are just things like that, that crosses my mind, you know, and... You know, I just, I don't know, you know, I think a little different than some brothers, you know. Some think what they ride and they thinking, you know, yeah, 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 I'll get me one of these women, this and that. You know, hey, maybe it's meant for you to be a eunuch, you know. That some of us should be more focused on just really doing the work and not even having a rib, you know. Do the work, man. Not even having having that woman right now, you know. Uh, I, I put that off just because I know I'll get it back in the kingdom, you know, so that's why I'm not too worried. I enjoy this time, you know, me to myself to where I can focus and I can sit and do these lessons. I don't have some woman, you know, nagging me like, where are you at? This and that. And are oh, you gone all day? Are you out there doing these lessons and you going out on the streets and you're out there all day? And I, you know, you got to hear all that, you know, when you can just focus on doing the work, trying to, um, you know, make your call and election sure, and seek, you know, and seeking out your, your own salvation as well as, you know, sealing the elect, you know. So, you know, I don't know, but like I said, but anyways, this is really a, a lesson on the females, you know, because it's, it's a heavy thing, you know, when you uh, are dealing with these men of these other nations, you know. This man's going to show his perpetual hatred, okay. So, uh, this is a... Uh, this is Jeremiah 49 and 10. It says, but I have made Esau, Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. See, he's being exposed today. This is why we're, we know him to be who he is. You know, his biblical name. We call him Esau, you know, which he's he, he's been running from that name for a very long time. You know, calling himself everything under the sun but who he is. Okay. And it says next, it says his seed is spoiled. Okay. You know, this is not a man you want to be uh, allowing to put seed in you, man. His seed is spoiled in his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Hey, this is not somebody you want to be dealing with, man. But our women, 
are, 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 you know, dealing with this man, you know? This is Jeremiah 31 and 22, and it says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And with this, this is heavy. When you look at the curses, too, of Deuteronomy, and how there was that, that enmity between the man and the woman, you know, uh, a lot of women, um, Eves have put uh, Jake on, um, you know, child support and everything, or uh, falsely accused him of something. Uh, call the police on them, you know, and so a lot of Jakes are, are, are running to deal with these women in the other nations because they put, they get put through hell with Eve, man. You know, here in Indiana, it, uh, where I live at, you know, the, the, the town I live in, it's a lot of uh, interracial relationships going on. You'll see a lot more Jakes with, with Edomite women. You see Eves, they look more to, to, um, the Edomite man, they get with him, and they, they don't even look at Jake, you know, and you see a lot of that happening, and it's, it's, it's crazy, man. But one of the things about Holly Berry, man, she's done been married how many times? <laughs> you know, uh, because, you know, you're not supposed to really be, you know, you're supposed to be uh, with, one, with one man. You know, it tells you in the scriptures, you know, you know, like if you was to go back to the man, the first man you ever been with, which I believe she was, she started off with a Jake, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I know she was with uh, David Justice, but I don't know if he was her first, you know, like, for example, J-Lo. You see, J-Lo's been running around, jumping man to man, you know, now she's back with uh, Ben Affleck, you know. At, at some point, you got to look in the mirror and say, you know what, it's not the guy, it's me, <laughs> you know, but, uh. This is Ecclesiasticus, you know, the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 12. And it says, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow, you know. And see, Ali Berry is dealing with all these different Edomite men being married and, and you're giving, you know, letting a man put seed in you and having their kids, you know. This is this is crazy. So if if we came up to her and told her, you know, hey, you can't do that. You're supposed to be with one one man. You know, like it tells you, you know, that that land that land which is your your uh, body, your your temple, your private areas is going to be greatly polluted because, you know, you you collect the data of each man. You collect the data of each man, you know, in, and that's and that's stored in you. That's why these women, man, are just so jacked up, you know. But this is Proverbs 30 and 20, you know, because in Babylon, they promote this type of lifestyle. You can just, you know, divorce and move on, get another man and just keep going and going, jumping man to man. But this is Proverbs 30 and 20. It says, such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. So she don't see, she might not even see no wrong in it, you know, even... But see, she's being judged by Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know, these guys calling you the N-word and, and stuff like that. You know, that she's being put on um, child support, you know. And, and that's the, that's why I said, because the thing about it, the tables are beginning to turn on Eve. Eve has benefited in this kingdom, you know. This is why they're like, I don't need a man. I'm strong and independent. You know, uh, I got all this money. But now you laid with these Edomite men thinking everything was going to be sweet. And now these guys, you know. Because this is their kingdom, this is their rulership, and now they're getting child support off you. Okay. This is a a, a term that was called to a, a lot of Eves, you know, especially back in the in the day, you know, during the time of uh, slavery, you know, they were known as a uh, bed winch or bed winches, you know, and and here is a this is the Urban Dictionary, okay, you know, but it says typically a term applied to females of African descent, which really Israelites, okay? All right. And it says, but technically can be applied to all non-white women of all colors, okay? Yellow, black, brown, tan. You know, this is you so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, that that uh, get with this man, all right? Who give herself to white men, see? Edomite men of high status sexually in exchange for privileges, promotions, etc. At the expense of turning her back on the people in her community so she ain't looking back at at them 
you know the term originated from female house slaves see back during american slavery all right and then they show you this look the character shiva who played leonardo dicaprio's mistress in the movie django is a bed wench <laughs> The character Olivia Pope played by actress Carrie Washington on the TV show Scandal is a Bed Wrench. And that uh, Carrie Washington woman, you notice a lot of her movies, she's always in a movie where she's married to an Edomite man. Always. <laughs> you know? They put that out there because they're pushing up an agenda. You're seeing it more and more in these movies where Esau, it, it shows Esau married to Eve, you know? And look at this. This was back, this was last year, it's April 1st, 2022, but it says uh, why more black women should consider marrying white men. And look at this, you know, and this is that Kentonji Brown Jackson, that judge or whatever that Biden put in there. And Biden is purposely getting a lot of these eaves in, in, in the White House and in, in these high positions because he's playing on the minds of our people. See, our people are very, they're sottish children. They're very simple and they believe with every word and they see what this devil's doing. But, it, but they they see it as, oh, look, you know, look, we, we coming up, we stepping up. But a lot of these people have sold out. When you look at their wives, you know, and who they're, I mean, their husbands, Salakia, their husbands, when you see who they married to, they're married to Edomite men, you know? So you don't think, so that, that should tell you they don't have the best interests of our people, you know? You know, the, uh, what's her name? The uh, vice president, um, can't even think of her name right now. Uh, Kamala Harris, you know, even though she's not even of our people, she's a terror, but she's uh, she's even married to a, a, an Edomite man, you know, but a lot of people look at her and they t talk, you know, they see her as one of us and, you know, sh she's known for what? Locking up many uh, Israelite men, you know, so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. She's known, known for that, you know, and she been, she's been rewarded for that by getting that that position you know in the white house man are people making covenants with the heathen man all right this is isaiah 13 and 15 this is everyone that is found uh or everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword which i just brought this out in my previous lesson but you know it applies for this as well a lot of our people like i said a lot of them you see them more and more Eves, because they always say Jake is always with, with um, you see more Jakes with these Edomite women. And you see it a lot, but, the, you know, they could be lying with the statistics. There are a lot of Jakes that prefer to work, marry, you know, within our own, our own uh, race, our own nation. It's uh, really the other way around. You're seeing a lot of these Eves out here, man. And they're, uh, you know, they're getting with Esau. But you're going to fall by the sword. That's going to be your judgment. If you're joined unto him, especially when you how about Shimei was shot returns, man. All right. You know, there was a, a video clip, man, of uh, this one uh, Eve, man. And she was talking like mad crap about how, you know, she'd rather be with. Uh, she said she'd rather be with the slave master and stuff. You know, this is the mindset of Eve, Who man. Who raised these Every women? Every I get online, me and I always complain about black women. At least black men. Black women is... Black women, it. Our name just always in your mouth. Black women aren't submissive towards black men. How white women are submissive to white men? Well, because the white man is the slave master. The rest of the people are the slaves. Why would I submit to a slave? I don't submit to no slave. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man. But I would never submit to no slave, which is the black man. You supposed to submit just like me. Why would I be submissive towards you when you got somebody you need to be submissive towards too? Okay. And remember how I was bringing out how the, uh, you know, the, the seed is uh, spoiled, man. You know, this is a thing about the tares. And uh, I wanted to uh, go go ahead and go through this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13. And I'm going to start at verse 24. Okay. This is basically like if you, you know, you eaves out there, if you laying, laying with this man and you have this man's children, you're producing tares. And there's a... a a judgment that's also going to come on, on to those children, okay? You know, I did a, a lesson on the weed and tares, but I'm going to bring this out here for this lesson, you know, because, you know, Holly Berry has given, um, you know, she she's given birth to, to um, you know, tares, man, all right? 
And this is, uh, all right, like I said, Matthew 13, and I'm going to start at verse 24. And it says, Another parable, but he put forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. Okay? You know, it's, it, it's best to produce Israelite children. And like I said, you know, and I don't want no brothers coming up against me because, you know, the scriptures does say, yes, if you are at war and things like that and you see a woman to your liking and you take her, you know, there's steps that she takes and everything and she can become your wife. You know, I firmly believe that you can you could have a woman of the other nations. OK, but you also got to also con consider the times that you're in as well. OK, you know, scriptures says something, you know, you know, and then, you know, uh, but, you know, y'all you, take it and just that means, well, we, we could do that anytime, anytime. It don't matter. You know. All right. OK. All right, Jake. You know, you got to use wisdom. But, uh, you know, it's 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 a beautiful thing when an Israelite man gets with an Israelite woman and you sow good seed, man. Your, your children will be blessed. All right. But this verse 25, it says, by while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. All right. And when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. See? So the servant of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field, from which uh, then had, had the uh, tares? He said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, Wit thou then that we go and gather them up? And see, this is another thing. We're not supposed to go around trying to Hey, you a terror, you a terror, and this and that. All right, this is that's not the move. And you see a lot of these uh these so-called uh, Negro only Israelites out here trying to do that, talking about you know a certain look. And y'all gonna fool around and gather up the uh you going around trying to figure out who's a terror and this and that, or this person's a terror. You might pull up some some that are not terrors, you know, because you're gonna have some that might look like. Like what you think is a tear and it can be, uh, you know, an Israelite, you know, and then you might be rounding up something that you think is a tear, but is an Israelite. But you get a uh, but meanwhile, you're keeping something around you because it's a dark, you know, dark flesh. And that could really be a tear. You might have Edomites that look like Wesley Snipes, you know, but they'll go over a lot of their heads. But. uh, All right. But again, he says, he said unto them, an enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, what, what thou then, that we go and gather them up? All right, verse 29, he said, but he said, nay, lest, lest uh, while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. See, like I just was mentioning in verse 30, this is the point right here. Let both grow together until the harvest, okay? And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, this is going to be the mangels, all right, the reapers. Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in the bundles, uh, uh, and bind them in the bundles to burn them, okay? But gather the wheat into my barn, okay? And that barn can symbolize the chariots, okay? And the and the bundles, you know, uh, and bind them in, in bundles to burn them. That's gonna be that lake of fire, <laughs> you know? So this is gonna be the uh, that that's a heavy thing, you know. I got kinfolk, man, that have uh, laid down with, with, with uh, Esau, Edom, and had children, you know. Or, and if they didn't do that, they're uh, married to them. They're married to Edomites and stuff like that, you know. My own mother is married to an Edomite. Uh, or she's with an Edomite right now. But she, she's, been, she's been married uh, several times, and she was married to a couple of Edomites, man. And, you know, I've said how I felt you know she wanted me to go to a wedding and I refused because I woke up to this truth and I said I can't you know I can't be be down with that man and I think she, her feelings was hurt but I, I couldn't do it I said I just can't you know if you was with an Israelite man a so-called Negro Hispanic or Native American Native American uh that'd be different but I, I can't I can't do that but yeah you know Eve man has really put a lot of hell on Jake man and, and you know uh and this is not for all women. You, we know a lot of you Eves out here, man. You know, there's Eves that, that want to be with Jake and stuff like that. And some of them are being prepared for that day, you know. It tells you in Isaiah 4 and 1 that seven women will cleave unto one man, you know. And so, some of you are being preserved for, for that great day, you know, to be joined unto a righteous man to be delivered, okay. 
you know, a, a man of the Lord is going to be a hiding place. But for you women out there that have, uh, you know, have done Jake dirty, you know, gave Jake a hard time. Even, you know, Eve's, you know, it gave Jake a hard time in his truth. Him trying to go out and do this work, you know, because some women, a lot of these women don't believe like as strong as the man does. Because, you know, the tabernacle uh, of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, is with men. Okay. So this is why, you know, we go out there, we, we uh, do the work and stuff like that, trying to seal the nation. And, and we sometimes we come home and, and, and catch hell, you know, after doing so. But, you know, those type of women that are doing that, you're putting uh, Jake on child support, giving him hell. Like I was talking to one of my neighbors, you know, he's an Edomite, but he was telling me how him and his uh, uh, ex-wife, you know, they're, they're not together. They're separated. But however, he said they got to still maintain a good relationship, you know, because they have a child. And he says that he gives her um, he gives her money. You know, he says he gives her a thousand a month, you know. And he said that's more than what the child that, you know, if he went to the courts, it wouldn't have been that much. But he gives her that money. But he said we, we decide not to go through the courts and stuff. And I said that's how it should be. You know, if you are separated, but, you know, he's, he's doing what the scripture says. You're supposed to still maintain and take care of your family. And that's what he does. You know, he even makes sure she's good, you know, his ex-wife. But he takes care of his child, you know, and, and, and that's how it should be, you know. And I was thinking, like, dang, how come... You know, uh, Eve, Eve can't do that. She's going to take you to the courts and, and make matters worse and put hell on you. All right. But this is a verse here. And I'll end it on this. This is a uh, this is could be the consequences for a lot of you women, man. In those in those last days, man. All right. This is Michael 7 and 10. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it. You know, you know, Charlie Berry going to be like, damn, you know, you know, I should have stayed with Jake, you know. You know, here it is. Esau is calling me the N-word. They all done put me on child support. Uh, you know, they treat me bad. They want, they turn my daughters uh, against me. Want my, uh, you know, daughter to look more like, you know, uh, his race, which technically they are of his race, you know. And it says, and shame shall cover her. So shame's going to cover a lot of women in those days. Which said unto me, where is the is the Lord thy God? You know, because, you know, people, we are here rebuking. Hey, we rebuking not just your average Israelites out in the streets, the, the rich and famous of, of our people. You know, we telling them, hey, you need to come back and repent. Come back to your Yahabashim Yashah, be destroyed. You know, and they might look at you like, who you think you are? You know, I got billions of dollars in the bank. But, hey, we, we telling you all, you know, keep get our hands clean. And, you know, and, and Eve will make mockery because, see, they, they get benefits in this kingdom. All right. Where is the Lord thy God? All right. It says, my eyes shall behold her. So we're, we're going to see her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. OK, so this is how it's going to end for you. You know, unless you repent and come back to your how about Shimei, I was shy, you know, get yourself together, you know, on these last days, you know, you're going to you're going to be. You gonna be looking like this, man. Yeah, you gonna be looking like this, man. <laughs> right? All right. So this is what we are warning you about. This is the times that we are in. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. Till the next one. Shalom.